In the mother country's darkest hours, our ancestors responded to the call. And that's why they were remembered today, as a series of poppy wreaths were laid in the silence at the National War Memorial in Cardiff. <laughs> This was a service to commemorate the sacrifice of soldiers from black, Asian and minority ethnic groups. If you looked around and you take a, a, the broad spectrum of the crowd, you realise that um, there are people here from various factions of society in Britain as it is today. As they gathered at this special plaque, they also remembered Patty Flynn, who fought to have the monument installed for people of colour. She wanted to have a plaque, she wanted something to say that these people had been here and there was nothing in Cardiff. So she went throughout her life trying to get people to put a plaque up or something to recognise these people. So that's what she worked for. Four years after that work became reality, school pupils from two Cardiff primaries came along to take part in the tribute here. It's lovely this year particularly to see the children here for the first time because obviously we want uh, the legacy to carry on, so it's through the children um, and future generations that'll happen. Many here believe that the contributions of multicultural communities had been left out. The people of Wales called for this justice to be done. Through the work of Patty Flynn and Betty Campbell, the Campbell family and all the people in Butetown, who served, people like Auntie Roma, the leader of our Windrush Camry elders. She was a nurse during the war efforts and served in the British Army for 25 years. Their stories are forgotten. But they haven't been forgotten today. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Hannah Thomas, ITV News, at the National War Memorial in Cardiff.